I'm Alexis Hazen, I'm a plastic surgeon out of New York, and I'm gonna be discussing a recent paper um, from China by Yi et al. looking at comparative outcomes of fat grafting, which uh, treated with platelet-rich plasma and platelet-rich fibrin with a control group of saline-treated fat grafts. So why do we care about this and what is fat grafting? Um, fat grafting is when we transfer fat from one part of the body to another for either reconstructive or cosmetic purposes. And it's become a very important tool in plastic surgery for both cosmetic and reconstructive purposes. One of the problems with fat grafting is that the take of the fat is variable and anywhere from 30 to 70% take. So plastic surgeons are always looking for methods to improve the fat graft take. So that's, that's why this is an important study and why it's very useful. So what they did is they transferred fat treated with platelet-rich plasma, which has been known to enhance fat grafts, and platelet-rich fibrin to rabbit ears and so that's the animal model they used. And then they looked at control of saline treated fat grafts. Um, they took the fat out at 12 weeks and looked at it histologically, which means that they looked under the microscope to look at the vascularity and looked at some other factors as well as the overall take of the grafts. So they weighed them and then looked at the specific histology. Um, the, what, what they found was that the grafts treated with the platelet-rich fibrin had overall enhanced survival, and the vascularity was improved in the platelet-rich plasma grafts, but it didn't translate to survivability. Um, this is really an important study because it uh, represents a technique that is fairly easy to employ, we, we get platelet-rich plasma and platelet-rich fibrin from spinning down the blood. And um, anything that can potentially improve fat grass survival might be a tool that would be useful to most plastic surgeons. I think the limitations of the study are that it was done in an animal model, and we know that human fat is very specific and has very specific characteristics and it's not known if rabbit fat and human fat can be exactly translatable in terms of their biological response. Um, but overall interesting study with useful findings and um, it's also a good read.